Probably forget about the goal sometimes. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Einy. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. I think Christopher Lord actually voiced him. I won't believe you it. You got that right? thing hooked up to the car? The living legend at once. Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me. The car. The car. Yeah, my calculations go. are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. <laughs> I watched the movie the other day and it didn't say shit on that. Only because it was pop watch this, watch this. If I press, if I press the one for actually in the movie, I'm gonna get a trophy. Temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! 28, I thought it was 21. Ah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Doc. You disintegrated Einstein. Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is when the Where hell the hell are they? Are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future! One minute into the future, to be exact, and at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine! Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a dollar The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flush dispersal. Look out! Oops, what happened? Time's changed. Uh, Doc? Now you'll see why. That's peculiar. Oh, uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened, Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Right. There you go. That is your Marty. That's still how I earned the trophy to send the actual lines in the movie. Notebook. Notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals I times Z, and E equals the square root of Z times C squared, and the flux... Consequences could be catastrophic? Whoa. Deja vu. I don't think that I can choose a specific one there for a trophy. Uh, Doc? No, that matter, does it? Oh my god. Great Scott! It is disappearing! Doc, what is it? I've made so, oh, it's not what it seems. Mistake. Oh, it's not what it seems. You'll see in 20 seconds Doc! of the moment. Doc, no! I'm sorry, Marty. I've played this game a couple of times, Doc, no. Come I... back! You're Doc! gone. Doc! And away. Doc! <laughs> Marty.
Marty, is everything okay? Yeah, Mom, I... It was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and, and Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in um, good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. Back in good old 96. Back to the future. The game. We can say it's a part four, but... And some of the actors come back. I saw, I watched a video of them talking about it before I played this. It was Jennifer Rooker and her old, the original one. And then Doc come back. And um, who else? Biff come back, the actor. And then they've got some impressionist to play Marty who can do the voice. Oh, and um, I think the Marty, the original Marty, Michael, Michael J. Fox played the, the guy from... I could say Doc's dad. No. Marty's great great something father. Grandfather. Great something. What else would it be? It's Winnie, great father Winnie. May thought so this is over almost six years after a current offence. Dad! Are we too late to stop the sale? sale. Better late than never. You wouldn't believe uh -oh. how much rare stuff there is back here. That's doc stuff. The city has no right now, to... Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Biff. <laughs> hey, Marty. Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Oh. Nah, I guess I'm just... Remembering. Don't be that. Hey, let me! Now, Biff, leave Marty alone. <laughs> this is a very emotional we'll time for these him. Oh, to sure! Get a yeah, sorry, Marty! But I like, I like the less lots of snoop about stuff. Oh dear, no dog food. Where's Ani? Einstein's bottle. Miss Einstein. Yeah, I'm missing too. Uh, anything around here? Else around here? No, can't go out. Television? Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can intervene to prevent your own conception, for example? Hmm. Tell his daddy's life, Andy. Oh dear, one more thing. Uh, is that clocks? Yeah, I thought I could do clocks. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Anything I've missed out? Amplify your control. Let's make some noise. I think this is for a little while. Thank you, I've got 20 minutes of maybe, or maybe I can do another 25. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Hmm. Well, if Marty has anything to do with it, I'll talk to George, I think, now, there says anything else. I bet that sounds score model in a bit. That's the thing where I... Hey, I'm... Dad. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? I will look at it. Well, and once what it to became do. apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. You got it, Mr. McFly. I'll get that fucking thing off. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know... Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. 
Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely just voluntary? Just ignore that one's just there. It's telling me to look at that, and I know, how, I know to look at it. But Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe just... he's just hiding from his creditors. You got that Doc, Doc wrong. wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That, that's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. What's yeah. Biff doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's allowed. <laughs> Even Biff. About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son. Is, I'll stay out of your way. This is just you know over the find future me. thing when I do the guitar and stuff. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just <laughs> weird stuff yeah, about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? I guess, but I feel like it was telling me something. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, right. Dad. Will that message disappear now? All right. I'm sure there's other things to look at it around here. Uh Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. <laughs> Alright, two box. Wait, I, I got one. Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. Well, let's go back around this bit. I think there's nothing else. Doc must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that cauldron. Come on, are you gonna give me a... Oh, it smells like beef stew. Looks like a hand crank lightning rod, or maybe a lightning Just, powered pencil sharp. I'm sure that's the last of it. Right, we're gonna look at the time model now. If I can get to it. <laughs> Doc built this model at downtown Hill Valley. Just gonna see it now. Back in 1955. What? The clock tower in the courthouse. I should close, but what the? I know. Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. You know, you and my folks go way back. Yeah, so? So how about letting me have that model courthouse uh, for old time's sake? Eh, I think I'll keep it. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me to... Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. <laughs> Books. Doc sure did love his Jules Verne. Come on, is it good? Surely got a fucking... Hey, Biff. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? <laughs> well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. It's just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. And then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on.
That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? <laughs> oh, 20 minutes. I'll pay you for it. How much? Um, Not enough. Ah, uh, never mind. Right. What's that? I'm just going around looking to see. Uh. Last time I went here. Where's my guitar, you can't. Stand for fire. Uh. Oh, more clocks. Alright. Jafford liked that. She's into old stuff. Come on, it's a trophy on the nah. Did I do the fish tank? A fish tank? I never knew Doc raised fish. Doc's fish had weird taste and decor. I kinda like Doc. I guess I don't get a trophy for doing this. Hey Dad, why's my guitar got a price tag on it? What's your Sorry, now? son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. Hey, Dad. Anything else? That notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Yeah. Then how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? You can't have it both ways, Marty. If Doc's alive, right. he can protect his own legacy. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Alright, here we go then. Amplifier. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. You just wait, mate. You just wait. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> now, watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Rock on, Biff. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, Doc, where are you? Dun, dun, dun. Dog's legacy, right? I'm sure I went around everything in that in that place. Doc? You know who's in here? Oh. Einstein. Where do you come Honey. from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware,
aware time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I can land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you've come to my rescue in the past, or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please take the, the music back or, or forward to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark last time departed. Good luck. Right, right, last time departed, last time departed. Uh oh jeez. Come on, come on. Come on. Crap! Oh great. How am I supposed to find him now? I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Well, once I know when to look for Doc. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuit. It's gonna say the same thing. Well, once I know when to look for right, Doc. I'm wasting time and I know what to do. Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. What do you know about this shoe, Aini? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! Great Scott! Uh, excuse me? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Aini? Starbase Zero. I hope Jimmy's fixed the wild gunman machine. I guess there's time for a quick game. <laughs> okay. Now I'm ready. I could sign like a door at them. A one liquor. I like the new bars Mr. Figgins put on the windows. Very secure. I'm gonna be told it's too so <laughs> I just died! Yeah. I'm probably I'm saying you stupid bitch. I'm a... Step away from the door! Ah. Now, let me get a look at you. <laughs> Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hurry up, Dom! Hooligans! Get along now! Scat! I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through the town square every morning between 8 and 8.30 in a decidedly unpunctual manner? Uh... Yeah? All skateboarders are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Stay your business, child. You're making me miss Merv. Well, see, that's the thing. I'm not sure why I'm here. Einstein here brought me, and... Well? E. Strickland? You aren't related to uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm his sister, Edna. Oh, and you're one of those McFly slackers, aren't you? Yes, uh, what's old man Strick? I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. 
Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! <laughs> oh my god. The latest is... Oh, the latest I've got to do finishes in at least 15 minutes so I can watch something. That mat outside. Leave that creature outside. Sorry, Einstein. Now I'm just gonna lay down and wait for my master. <laughs> well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You Fifty-five can years to be exact. Much better. <laughs> so neat and orderly. Now I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I. All I've got is tea and candy. But I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. It's a fact. I'm gonna put my camera on my back, but I can't uh, unless I broadcast. I've got shit internet. And I can't broadcast, so I might stop. So I'll do it the old fashioned way. Hey! You kids! Put out those cigarettes! <laughs> Right, what should we start with? Cat trophies. Uh... What are these? My editorial trophies. Cat Lovers Quarterly. It's legitimate journalism. God, you're now bits. Oh, deep. Pictures. <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? <laughs> I never <laughs> could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. Warren Hills. Uh, is that it on this side? Oh. Let's go radiator. Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. <laughs> Just what you see, young. Candy. Oh, the candy looks older than I am. <laughs> Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice picture. The water still hasn't come to a boil. What's over here? Uh, Miss Strickland, about your tea. Uh, you forgot to turn on you! the. It's spelled with a U, you illiterate vandal! <laughs> Einstein brought me that shoe from the past, but when in the past? Alright, I think I'm gonna talk to Edna now. Can't uh, have Mr. long left. Jack! Ten minutes. Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Huh. Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But... Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... 
Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. Oh, when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. The speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town well. Honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch. No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny. Yeah, you generation of hooligans and slackers <laughs> can give two ripe figs about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. Following year, as I recall. What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, You'll find it in my stacks. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Doing some stargazing? No, oh, I set my sights on lower things. Is that? Chip Tannen! Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! <laughs> Keep you from your business. Not number one. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground. Now go, 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 go. If I take a look, go ahead, dear. 1932. It's Biff again. Got this guy guys everywhere. Rebuilt in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. Well, now this when? is what I got to do. I, got to do it I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. <laughs> ah! Ah! Not that sort of date, love. Right, here we go. There's the whistle. Surely the water's boiling by now. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Come on. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last mm. night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me. No! You've gotten my history out of order! 
Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out, get out, get out! <laughs> Help! Police! I'm being attacked! It's just in time, he's gonna go back now. Oh fuck, I forgot about this bit. Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? It's uh, my uniform. Uh, didn't I tell you? I, uh, I got a job. At the Model T factory? Yeah. Uh, no, no. Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. A long couple hey, minutes. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. You ready to go, Einstein? Here we go, that. Time oh, circuits? On. On. Flux capacitor? Uh, fluxes. fluxes. The time circuits are already on. Hang on. Ah! The time circuits are already hang on. Hang on, hang on. It's not moving around. Okay. Go. If Doc's going to get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. Here we go with the music. Oh, it's fine, I'll see what's happening. We're going back in time. He's the first ever time traveler and he's a dog. Oh. Uh. He got away there, he got away, and so did the cr the crooks. And this as soon as he starts. Two miles. Hey, Batten Town. And I paused. Oh shit, look at that. Hang on.